All right, good day, good day, 12, and welcome to today's video in which we are looking, we're continuing with date and time functions, and today we're specifically looking in this video at time functions. So in our previous one, we looked at, you know, day, month, year, um, and then date and days. Here we're looking at hour, minutes, and seconds. So if I just use um, this particular time frame over here, which is eight o'clock in the morning, if I use my hour function, and I click on that cell, what it's gonna return is eight, right? Because that is the number of hours. If I go in and I say, let's say 45 seconds, and it was, let's say three minutes, and I'm gonna go do the minute function, minute over there, and I click on that same cell, it should return three, but I haven't done that. All right, so now it returns three because there's three minutes. So you can see when there were no minutes inserted, didn't return anything. Seconds, I'm going to go with the same thing. I'm going to go 45. And now when I perform that function, second, over there, click on that, you can see it returns 45. So um, when I when I look at the time, which is um, eight o'clock, uh, three minutes past eight and forty-five seconds, you know, after three, um, there you can see all those particular figures are there. Right. So sometimes what they do is they want you to calculate the difference in in hours. So I'm just gonna go again uh, this route, and you can see that changes now. So if I want to get the number of hours, the 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 difference in hours between those two areas over there. Um, I can go equals and I can click on, remember we always click on the end first and then the beginning. And I can say the one minus the other. And that's giving me, let me actually just do it here. One minus the other. And it's giving me six. Now already I know to get from eight to 14 is six. Now that's fine, but... I need to format it so it comes out as the number six. Okay. So what I'm then going to have to do is I'm going to have to change that and multiply whatever that answer is by 24 because there are 24 hours in a day. Enter. Now you can see it looks weird. Like now it's gone totally weird. However, when we go up to our number section over here and I change that into a normal number, or I format it according to a normal number. You can see now it's looking even better. And when I remove those decimal places, there I have my answer, right? So uh, the difference then is six hours between that time, that time over there. And generally those are just the simple type of things that they do ask you to do um, when it comes to date and time and year specifically uh, working with time. 